Hello friends and welcome back to online study for you and today I am here again with a very important topic and this session is going to be very useful specifically for those who are going to appear in MCAT exam and for uh, those students who are uh, from BTEC that uh, specifically for those who are in a uh, computer science branch since it is a requested video i am covering computer science in this session i have already done a session in which i have discussed all the compulsory modules for mcat exam so without wasting our time let us see the topic now this computer science see computer science is a branch in engineering means those graduates who are from btech and they they their branch is uh, computer science they have to go through the session now let us see about the um, you know requirements of computer science in amcat the amcat computer science module is present in both the general amcat test and the engineering amcat test module it is recommended to engineering students from cs branch and to those who are from bca bcm bsc it and other pg diploma in computer science in the very beginning first i will tell you about the general amcat test which topics there will be in general test and then we'll go for the domain based and the subject you choose according to your branch the first one is computer programming and this is a general mcat test which you are going to do on entry level this computer programming module which is part of general mcat tests the entry level computer programming ability in this part there will be 25 questions and duration you will get is 35 minutes the topic that you have to cover in this test will be as follows there will be mainly three categories and then some sub categories so that you can see here see first is basic programming and in basic programming there will be data types iteration recursion decision making procedure and functions topic like this you have to prepare the sec is the second one is data structures in data structures you have to prepare arrays linked lists trees graphs stacks queues hash tables heaps searching and sorting type topics and apart from the some other topics like polymorphism abstraction encapsulation and complexity theory you have to prepare for this section now the second step that is computer programming this section is basically based on technical knowledge the computer programming module for btech or engineering is an advanced advanced variant of this module here you will get 25 questions and time duration will be 35 minutes in this section topic will remain same as that of uh, computer programming in general test but level of questions will enhance for sure for this section the same topics like in basic programming data types iteration recursion decision procedure and functions and in second category data structures and the sub topics are arrays linked lists trees graphs stacks queues hash tables heaps searching and sorting and polymorphism abstraction encapsulation and complexity theory you have to prepare but in an enhanced manner because the level of question will increase in this second part and after these two the third one will be computer science test and the third mcat computer science module is particularly for btech graduates and it is a skill assessment on your understanding of basic concepts 
here number of questions will be 26 and time duration will be of 25 minutes please do not get confused as in the first part there was 25 questions and time duration was 35 minutes here number of questions are 26 and time duration is 25 minutes and the topics that you have to prepare for this sections are as follows. The first one is DBMS and DBMS stands for Database Management System. I think the computer uh, students uh, know it very well. Database Management System it is. And in this category you have to prepare data model, relational algebra and SQL, then normalization, architecture and indexing. In second category you have to prepare operating system and computer architecture in which you have to understand the basic concepts of operating system and computer architecture. Then memory and input output management, how the protocols are working for input output etc. Then process management and synchronization you have to prepare. And the third and the third one that is computer networks and in this computer networks you have to prepare the very basic concepts of networking and communication and then TCP IP layers and protocol here you have to prepare the basic that how many layers are there and, and how the protocols are going to work and the next one is network devices and routing algorithms so these topics you have to prepare for the third section so guys this is it for today's session and i hope this video will be very useful for uh, you guys and for any such problems and query you can write down in the comment section below. We at Online Study for You will try our level best to help you out with your problems and queries. And if you want to see such more videos, please like, share and subscribe our channel. If you like this video, और अभी तक अगर आपने हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है, तो प्लीज इसे सब्सक्राइब करें और नए वीडियो के नोटिफिकेशन के लिए बेल आइकन को दबाएं।